So Sage, as everybody knows, are the trusted um, ERP providers for small and medium businesses. And what we determine as a small and medium business is a business between generally 10 and 200 employees with a turnover between 1 million and 20 million pounds, mainly UK customers. What I want to talk to you today about is Sage 200. So EBS have been a accredited Sage 200 partner since the early 2000s. Uh, they've been a Sage 200 Sage partner since 1996, but specifically a 200 partner since its inception in early 2000. Sage came to the market in 1981. The head office was in Newcastle and it still is. Um, so they've been trading for 43 years. Okay. What I want to talk to you today about is a survey that Sage has undertaken recently. Now, the survey was undertaken against 1,000 financial professionals in the UK. Okay, and the purpose of the survey is to determine key trends and issues uh, financial institutions and, and businesses like yourselves are finding in the industry. So, for the past few years, we can see business models have reinvented themselves and they've reinvented themselves because of technology, AI, automation, all these things that are coming to market have been in the market for the last few years. And by, by having AI, by having automation, customers want more and more, so businesses need to evolve, need to evolve with that. So what we found, summarized there in the eight points, but let me summarize. So the financial close each month it takes businesses on average seven working days and has been for the last couple of years to close the financial end each month. And then on top of that, you've got all your manual processes. And on top of that, you've got your financial year end as well. So that equates to three months of your year completing your closure for each month and your financial year end. And that equates to 720 hours per year just completing their monthly end tasks. So as part of the research, we, we investigated further and we spoke to the partners or the customers to ask them of those that have recently acquired an ERP system such as Sage 200, what benefit have you found from it? Has there been any benefit? And you can see there that 82% of financial leaders said they saved on headcounts. So we asked them, by what percentage, because it's difficult to quantify what percentage they've increased and they've saved time and saved cost by. So on average, 25% was saved on headcount and cost and time. So if you think about it, 25% in a month is a week. Across a year, it's three months. So what are the key challenges? The key challenges are impacted on staff. So you're a small business, okay, you've got 20 to 30 employees. Staff are getting sick of the monotonous manual tasks that are being completed, that are required to be completed because they don't have an ERP system or they don't have a fully functioning ERP solution for their business. And what's happening is these staff are leaving. Okay, so they're going to find the new and exciting. They're going working on social media. They're going working in AI. They're going to go and work in River Island or, I was going to say Topshop, but they don't exist anymore, um, or Saints or wherever they go. Okay, so what we need to try and do is to create the new and exciting within your business. You need to get your staff involved. You need to get things automated within, their, within your business so you feel empowered, they feel empowered, that they're adding value to the business rather than creating, sorry, rather than um, constantly um, completing these manual tasks that are very labor intensive. So how can we do that? So it's done through automation. Sage 200 is an example of that. So by having automation, your business can become scalable. So for example, some of your businesses pre-Christmas may be really, really hectic. You might have a thousand transactions to process, but then in the new year, you might have 10 transactions to process. Do you want your team, do you guys want to be stock taking and replenishing your stock? through manual processes pre-Christmas, 
when you want to be spending time with your families and doing Christmas activities with your children, you want to have a process, an automated process in place where it takes the same amount of time to process a thousand invoices than it does 10 invoices. So the staff know exactly what they're doing and the time it takes for them to do that work. AI, so AI is taking over the world, right? We all know this, it's nothing new. I'm not telling you anything new. Sage has recently introduced Copilot, which you may have heard of. So Copilot is something new that Sage is introducing to all its products. Okay, so it's Copilot because essentially it's a support to the main pilot in a business, i.e. it's going to support you guys that use Sage 200 or use any Sage products to support your business, okay? And the benefits it will bring is it will complete time-consuming, low-value administrative tasks in real time. It will come up with intelligent ways to make savings and make improvements to their businesses so customers can make smarter decisions and less work with greater confidence. I had to read that out as it was because they are the co-pilot quotes. There's one more as well. It will deliver human-like conversations to provide support in, complete, in completing a wide range of tasks. All of this will help deliver extraordinary outcomes by allowing our customers, you guys, to focus on your goals and give you the insights you need to, to allow your business to grow. So what are the signs that you've outgrown your existing ERP system if you're using an ERP system? You may still be using Excel. So what I'd recommend you guys to do is to dive into your existing tool, as existing software that you, you guys utilize and use the knowledge of these wonderful technical guys at EBS who I've been working with for quite a long time. They will deep dive to understand, are you making the best use out of your existing ERP system or Excel system or whatever system you're using? And if you're not, reach out to your provider, reach out to EBS, but before you do, think about this, okay? What do you want the end goal to be? What do you want it to look like and in what time frame? And how much are you prepared to invest to get there? Remember I talked earlier about automation and all the manual processes. If you invest up front, you will save cost, you will save in terms of staff retention, and you will reap the benefits of a product like Sage 200. So what is Sage 200? So Sage 200 come in, comes in three different formats, as you can see there. Not necessarily the order I'd want to talk through them, but Sage 200 standard is a cloud-based system, okay? It's out of the box, and it brings you the freedom to work when and how you want, okay? Um, Sage 200 Professional gives you all the benefits of Sage 200 standard, but the added benefits that if you want to grow horizontally, if you want to grow vertically, if you want specific add-ons, which, you know, you spoke to Sycon, Sim, Dracer uh, for document management, Sage 200 Professional can provide this. So if you've got any customizable requirements, any bespoke requirements, so you don't want something out of the box, Sage 200 Professional can provide that. And lastly, Sage Partner Cloud, which is essentially Sage 200 Professional in the, in the cloud, supported by Microsoft Azure, and you get the added benefits of working remotely, reduce costs uh, for being in the cloud, and most importantly, you get the security that Microsoft Azure provides. And then we talked about the uh, tech ecosystem. So Sage is ISV, so independent software vendors. So these are all recruited by Sage, they're accredited by Sage. We have a number of different apps or add-ons for Sage. So for example, if you're a manufacturing business, I spoke to somebody earlier, there's Sycon, there's also Sim 200, and both of them have a number of add-ons to support your individual business requirements. We also have Cumulus, we have Spindle, you've just heard from them now that also do document management. There's, fi I think, 52 different marketplace apps that Sage can support you with. 
a couple of weeks ago, I had another business partner, not EBS, come to me and say, Nikki, I need something to integrate with Sage 200 for a gambling business. So I went onto the marketplace and there was a business that could support with uh, gambling, not needs, that's the wrong word, but the requirements of a business that, that does gambling and we were able to, inter or we will be able to integrate that into Sage 200. So, last but not least, and I'll keep this short and sweet as promised because I know everybody wants to have a drink. And I've been told to read this as is, so it gets the message across clearly. Picture this. By introducing an ERP system such as Sage 200, you've fully empowered your team by the capability to wrap up the financial close and all your manual processes at an unprecedented pace, leaving competitors trailing behind. The alternative, your rivals are racing ahead, driven by the momentum and automation provides, whilst your team grapples with manual processes. This isn't just a race. You guys know AI is here. It's here to stay, and it's going to continue to grow. Okay? It's a high-stakes dash towards financial and strategic excellence. The window of advantage is narrowing. Don't look at me like that. I can hear a question come in. But here's the real gem. It's not just about saving time. It's about freeing up resources and reclaiming what truly matters and having the space to use your expertise on work only you could do. With more time on your hands, you can get into the flow of meaningful strategic work for your business and the individuals within your business. Imagine building a stronger, more productive financial function, investing in your own professional development as well as your staff's professional development. And let's not forget the personal side, those evening and weekends where you're no longer panicking about completing the manual tasks or completing the work that needs to be done at a busiest time of year, okay? They can be spent with loved ones, nurturing new hobbies, or simply finding that elusive work-life balance that we all crave. Overall, the true value lies in transforming not only your work and your business, but your life. It's time to seize the opportunities that technology and automation provides with both hands and reclaim the time and energy you need to flourish. So what I would recommend you to do is, um, Sage 200, I believe, has been demonstrated at lunchtime today, Speak to the EBS guys. They're a fantastic bu bunch. They're a great team. They are the experts. If you want something automated, if you want something bespoke, they will be able to help you with the support of Sage. Thank you very much. Thank you.